You know, uh, cheating at cards is all about choices. Let me show you what I mean. I've got three good poker hands, uh, the first of which is four tens. That's a quad tens, you can't beat those. Uh, even better, I have four kings, and the third hand I have is the four aces. Okay, the best of all. Now, as I said, this is all about choices, so I'm gonna uh, show you what I mean. And again, I want you to see that's all I have is the four aces, the four kings, and the four tens. Now, as I said, just choices, and let me set up the three choices. Uh, I'm going to take the four aces one at a time, one, two, three, four aces, very carefully. I'm going to cut them into the center of the pack, and when you see they go cleanly into the center. They're nowhere near the bottom, or nowhere near the top. And the tens, uh, to set up the second choice, uh, the tens, they're going to go on top of the pack. Okay, we leave them on top. And you guessed that the four kings, they're going to go on the bottom. Okay, so I've got three choices here. I'll explain to you in a minute. The first one is, that let's say I'm in a five-handed game of poker, I could deal fairly to the other four players and deal myself the, the kings off at the bottom if I knew how to deal a bottom deal. That's choice number one. Of course, if I do that, I'll lose the aces in the middle as well as the tens on the top. They'll all be dealt into oblivion. The second choice I have, if uh, let's say I want to keep the ten, I want the tens to be dealt to me, I could uh, leave them on top, of course, and uh, deal fairly... Uh, uh, excuse me, deal bottoms to everybody else out there, and that would leave me the tens on top, okay, and I could get the tens for myself. But of course, I'd lose the kings, they'd go into oblivion to the other players, and I'd lose the aces in the middle. Now the third choice, if I wanted the best hand, the aces in the center, I'd have to deal fairly to everybody else and deal the aces to myself out of the center. That's a tough one. Uh, but until recently, it never occurred to me that there's a fourth choice. Why not just deal fairly? Now you can choose to believe this or not, but I'm gonna deal five hands of poker fairly. Okay, everybody's gonna get their cards fairly. So what would happen then? And this is what I found out, and it's just great. I've got everybody, I want you to see, gets their cards fairly. There's no monkey business going on here at all. And that's the key here. If, uh, if you do this sort of thing, it's very important that everyone understands and believes you're dealing fairly off the top. Anyway, this, this, uh, choice I found gave me the best results because player number one he got the four tens okay which makes it uh, just great because this third player over here he got the, the four kings and that of course they get into a, a betting war raising each other back and forth which sets me up perfectly because I found I've got the uh, as you'll find the one two three and four aces which uh, I think you'll agree is the best outcome of all the choices and uh, I highly recommend it. If you have a tendency to cheat at playing cards, uh, uh, try this technique.